Hello, Comic Army. My name is Chris the Comic Vet. Hope this video finds you safe and well. All right, let's get into what's in my pull list. Now, this week is a pretty decent week. I got some reading in front of me. There's a lot of books I'm very excited about and some ongoings as well. We're going to talk about it. We're also going to talk about the September channel member giveaway. We're also going to talk about a mini con that I've been recently invited to to set up shop and go live from. We'll get into all of that in this episode. As always, I begin with the franchise on my channel, and that is, of course, Peter Parker, the Spectacular Spider-Man. The first issue I'm going to show here is probably the one I'm most excited about, and that is Spider-Man Black Suit and Blood. This is the cover that I went with. It's okay. It's nothing to write home about, but it's okay. However, I'm really excited to see some black suit stories in here from Demetrius. I hope I pronounced that cor correctly. Uh, Straczynski is also in here. And uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing some of this Craven's Last Hunt era type of storytelling. The next book is this variant copy of the Spectacular Spider-Man featuring Peter and Miles with that classic X-Men Days of Future Past homage. It's pretty cool. On the back here, you can see a bunch of fallen and apprehended uh, spider totem characters. Cool. <coughs> Pardon me. The next one up is from Kari Andrews. It's uh, Spider-Man Reign 2, issue number 2. I gotta admit, I'm not a fan of, of the long white beard on Peter. Like, trim it up. <laughs> but uh, as you can see, we got young black cat there as well. And uh, now it's time for cover of the week. Cover this week. Cover of the week comes from Lobos this week, and it's Uncanny X Men: The Variant Cover Issue Number One. Uh, this week had a bunch of Dazzler variants, which basically presents a bunch of the X Men characters in the '70s having some fun. Uh, this particular cover features one of my all-time favorite mutants, Magic, on the disco floor, and it is just gorgeous. Gorgeous. So again, X-Men number one, the Disco Dazzler variant featuring Magic. As you can hear, there's a, there was a big church bell going off representing that it's 2 o'clock in the afternoon here in Cambridge, Ontario. Park just outside my LCS Retro Rocket Comics, by the way. You'd be do, doing me a solid if you follow Retro Rocket Comics across all their social media platforms. So carrying on with the X-Men variants, I went with this Jubilee variant by John Tyler Christopher. This negative space, really well done. Up next, and probably the worst cover of the week, again, John Romita Jr., like, dude... Like, stop rushing your work. Stop rushing your work. It's Daredevil issue number 12. Again, like, are Kingpin's eyes really that far apart on his massive frame? And Anyways, again, Ahmed is doing a really good job with Daredevil, in my opinion. Some people may say different Aaron Cooter is now doing the interiors. Uh, but these covers, man, they, they time to switch it up. Uh, went with uh, this cover for The Incredible Hulk issue 15. Legacy 796. And join the Hulk as well. Okay, I'm about to start showing the independence, but we're going to hit the pause button just to talk about some other stuff. Uh, Chris from Metro Rocket Comics threw in a flyer for Hamilton Comic Con. This is a medium sized con that takes place in Hamilton, which is a city south of of Toronto, just north of Buffalo, close to the Canadian-American border. It takes place September 21st and 22nd. The granddaddy of all Canadian Comic-Cons, of course, is Fan Expo Canada, which takes place the last weekend of August in my home city, the city of my birth, Toronto, Ontario. And uh, this, they claim to be the third largest Comic-Con in North America, just behind San Diego and New York. And uh, let me tell you, it is a big con. Uh, it takes place in two monster halls that are connected. The guy was just speeding. And uh, they do have some pretty na pretty big names showing up this year. Marissa Tomei, uh, Danny Trejo, John Cleese, 
Gina Carano, Giancarlo Esposito, Marina Baccarin, who is Deadpool's girlfriend in the Deadpool movies and other things. V comes to mind. She did a great job as Diana in V. Alan Tudyk, Rose McGowan, and some of the comic artists. Uh, Art Germ is going to be there. Mark Silvestri, Jeff Johns, Gary Frank, Brad Meltzer, Scott Snyder, David Finch, and Jason Fabuck, just to name a few. And, uh, yeah, they're going to have a Seinfeld reunion. And, uh, yeah, Ben Expo. Plan on being there. And in just two weeks, two weeks, uh, Cambridge, Ontario is hosting a mini-con. It's a street celebration, a big family event, and Retro Rocket Comics is at the heart of this con. And Chris just recently invited myself and fellow Canadian YouTuber Actual Dracula to set up shop at this con. So the plan is now, just after talking with Chris, to uh, live stream basically for a good portion of this con. So uh, Actual Dracula will be there, and I believe that he's going to be bringing some stuff, some of his prints. He might be sketching, as you may or may not know, that, that Adrian is actually a very talented artist. And uh, the, the, creator Michael Schwar or the creator Michael Schwartz, the writer of Armored, he's going to be there, as well as uh, Richard, and what is his last name? Uh, it'll come to me in a second. Uh, the creator of Captain Canuck, probably the largest Canadian independent comic book in the history of Canadian comics. He will be setting up shop and uh, signing autographs and probably selling some Canadian or some Canadian books, uh, Captain Canuck, as well as some of the other ones that he uh, that he did. Uh, man, what is his name? Richard. I'm just gonna have to put it like right here. And and if he ever sees this, please forgive me. I don't know why I'm blanking out on that Canadian creator's name. I'm sure it'll hit me as I carry on with my pull list. So let's carry on into the independence. Red Before Black from Stephanie Phillips dropped today. She's also well known for doing Grimm. Uh, I picked up a variant cover which strangely has Erica Slaughter on it. Uh, this is a Boom Studios release, so I get that portion. But Erica Slaughter as far as I know, has never been on a non-slaughter, something is killing the children, house of slaughter cover before. But here we are, Red Before Black, featuring one of my all-time favorite characters, Erica Slaughter, on the cover. And uh, it's actually a pretty good take. I like it. I'm looking forward to getting into this offering from Stephanie Phillips. Up next from EC Comics. It's Cruel Universe. I did like the first offering last week from EC. So I do like the pulp style short stories that are in these books. So here's the hoping that we have some more great stories in Cruel Universe. Uh, Chris was kind enough to uh, let me have the ash can of the exorcism at 1600 pen. And uh, this is very, very intriguing. From Hannah Rose May and Vanessa Del Rey Belair, and I can't pronounce this person's name. I'll give it a shot. Uh, Otsmain El Hayo. This ash can, very cool, where it looks like we have the president and Satan behind the president. And uh, yeah, this. Very intriguing. I'm excited to check this out from IDW. Uh, the Exorcism at 1600 Pen. Now, let's talk about the giveaway that will take place the first Wednesday in September for the Comic Army, which are the collected members, or channel members for this particular YouTube channel. I'm starting it off with a bang. Thanks to Retro Rocket Comics, Chris, who donated this incredible book. Should I say infamous? Versus Incredible, but here we are. This is the 1 in 100 for the most polarizing book of 2024. 1 in 100 ratio. Frank Miller doing Wolverine. Now this is Ghost Rider Wolverine Weapons of Vengeance, issue number 1. And uh, yeah, Incredible, Infamous, 
say what you will, but this is the 1 in 100 ratio variant for this polarizing offering from Frank Miller. I'm happy to give it away. Again, thank you to Retro Rocket Comics for donating this incredible, infamous comic book. So again, this is just the first offering in which will be many more comic books for the channel members that are known as the Comic Army. Uh, the first Wednesday of every month, at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, go live or show us what you got. Make sure that you check that out. Make sure you're a channel member. There are now two, tier two tiers for you to select from if you're interested in becoming a channel member for this particular YouTube channel and become a member of the Comic Army. The last book I'm going to show is my lone DC offering. It is an absolute power tie-in. Issue 151 of Batman. Here we are. The Bat-Cat Catastrophe. I feel like that may have been used previously. At least in the 60s or maybe the 70s. But anyways. Here we are. An absolute power tie-in. I'm all about this Amanda Waller doing her thing. And the entire DC Universe trying to stand up to her new uh, Task Force Z, uh, Suicide Squad. Yeah, she's got a Kryptonium, what can I say? Batman 151. So there we are, Comic Army. That is what's in my pull list. Thank you so much for spending time with me. Make sure that you hit that thumbs up button. Make sure you subscribe. Leave a comment. you agree with me on cover of the week? Or is there something that caught your eye that was a little bit better? Again, that uh, that magic uh dazzler variant i thought it was great lobos has been doing a lot of good work lately and uh till we see you again thank you so much for your time take care